We now have to have the last word. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's in the, yeah. You want to know why? You want to know why marriages are ending in so much divorce? Cause, cause somebody got to always have the last word. Won't nobody just take the back seat? Say, baby, you know what? I was wrong. I tell you this little little peek into our marriage, right? The first year of our marriage, we almost got divorced several times. There's a lot going on in there, Miss Juanita. <laughs> I went out to my car because you know Vanessa, she was wrong. <laughs> Vanessa was wrong. So I left the house and went to the parking lot and I was sitting out there praying. And I, and I was talking to the Lord. I said, Lord, what do I do? I said, I've never been in this position because when this, because I've been divorced before, so that's been programmed, right? Trouble comes, we're going to get up out of there. So I'm talking to the Lord. I said, Lord, well, how do I deal with this? Because this means to me, I'm supposed to be leaving because we tripping. And the Lord told me this simple thing. He said, son, go back in your house and act like it never happened. I sat out there in the car for two more hours trying to figure out what you mean by that, act like it didn't happen. It did happen. But that's what Jesus said. That's what the Holy Spirit said. You go back in that house and you act like it never happened. But what was he talking about? First Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter that says that love keeps no list of suffered wrongs.